I have a question on the discussion concerning the time lag of monetary policy decisions and the effect it will have on inflation, because you have, of course, tightened at a record pace now, and um, there are discussions that one first has to wait a little bit until to really see the materialization of those rate hikes. So how are discussions going on that front? And then I would like to know whether you have discussed um, accelerating the shrinking of your balance sheet, and if not, whether this could be a topic for the so-called second half of the year. Thank you. On the, on, thank you very much uh, for, you, for your two questions. Um, I'll take the, the second one. We have not discussed uh, the reduction of our balance sheets. And uh, we have obviously acknowledged that the balance sheet has reduced. And it has reduced as a result of, uh, number one, the reimbursement of more than what was expected to be reimbursed under the Teltro reimbursement in June, and also by the fact that uh, we have not only stopped net, uh, uh, net asset purchases, but we have stopped any reinvestment. So the balance sheet of the ECB is reducing as a result of that. But we have not discussed any uh, further reduction at this point. On, uh, on your other question, as you know, transmission of monetary policy is one of the three metrics uh, that we use in order to determine our monetary policy stance, the strength of monetary policy transmission. And we look at it that way. We see it as essentially a two-leg process. Leg, the first leg is transmission to financing at large. What is the impact on lending, lending for banks, lending by bank, banks uh, to both corporates and households? And we try to measure that as accurately as possible by looking at volumes of loans, by looking at rates, by looking at, uh, obviously, the bank lending survey that many of you have commented uh, yesterday which informs us about what banks anticipate and on which, in which area and which directions they expect to either increase or, or reduce the volume of loans and reassess they, their risks in relation to uh, borrowers. So that's the first leg. And there are clear indication uh, that our monetary, our monetary policy is transmitted through that channel. The next one, which is the second leg, is transmission to the economy. And from financing to the economy, how, how quickly does that move? How efficient uh, is it? And we are really beginning to see now transmission uh, materializing, whether you look at investment in housing, whether you look at investment uh, altogether, there is obviously a, a, a decline on those two accounts. Still too early. Uh, and, and there is certainly more in the pipeline, but we are definitely seeing monetary policy being transmitted and being transmitted strongly. Uh, that's obviously the case for the first leg, and it is also now beginning to be the case in the second one. 